Yo, what's going on? Just watching the game, just chilling. Hey, uh, this is just a message for Kwame. Yo, homie, you just don't know how right you are about a lot of this shit that's going on right now. Uh, you was right to fuck with Angela Stan. You know, she was part of the great Twitter purge. In case you didn't know, a lot of black Trump supporters know that this shit been going on for a hot motherfucking minute, my homeboy. And I don't even know you like that, but, uh, you know, I fucks with you, you know what I'm saying? And it's all about, yeah, content and context. Look, that shit that was going on in Kenosha is some bull motherfucking shit, all right? Look, they knew everything was being swept under the rug of peaceful protest. When, and in reality, these motherfuckers rioting. Trump was calling it out. They rioters. Oh, no, it's peaceful protest. No, they rioting. tearing the whole fucking city up. And a lot of people knew what the fuck was really going on. But they try to speak for black folks. Oh, black folks is, oh, it's so mad. George Floyd, rest in peace. That shit should have never happened. That's something like 9-11, the word the world said, no, this shit ain't right. But it proved that they'll use anything off the plate of black America. And you were right. Uh, I was watching Angela Stan 2 this morning. That shit was off the chain. I was like, damn, I gotta go to work. I wanted to call in, but... Black folks know what the fuck is really going on. They're trying to replace us. They've been trying to get rid of us for years, but now they're trying to really replace us. And what you're saying about the go-along, get-along gang is true. You got to go along to get along. A lot of things got, uh, they put a lot of truth in movies. Look at Soldier Story. It's an old school movie, but if you check it out, it'll tell you a lot about what the fuck is really going on that applies to the day. These motherfuckers, they hate their own black skin, but they do the bidding of the white man for years. Thinking that's going to make it something it ain't. You know, and Angela Stanton, she out there, she doing the thing. She ran for Congress. <laughs> Shit. That's what you got to do is be engaged. But, you know, Kwame, you sparked a wave of shit to where motherfuckers is really questioning what the fuck is going on in our society. If we're the biggest consumers of everything, wouldn't you think collectively that will pool, that would wield tremendous power? I think it would. But, you know, we have to be brainwashed. I love sports just as much as the next man, but it's not the end all be all of my life, it's entertainment. And, you know, that, that's why I say, you know, a lot of people, they got a lot of bullshit to deal with in their everyday lives, so they, do, they use sports as a getaway. So that's why when people was getting upset about the Colin Kaepernick thing, I was like, yo, 
I'm a lifelong 49er. I know what the fuck that shit was really about. And that shit was not about no motherfucking social justice. That man got told he lost his starting job to a Blaine Gabbard. <laughs> How the fuck would you feel? <laughs> so... When he he sat out, the, sat down the next game, sat down, Steve Weiss asked him what you sat down for. So I know the nigga had to come up with something, but it wasn't all that shit that they're talking about. But, uh, as a stand, she was on fire. You know what I'm saying? They killing us at the womb. They killing us at the womb. And we don't even give a fuck. It just makes you think, it makes you wonder, you know, what's really going on. Biden remorse. A lot of people, a lot of black folks got Biden remorse. They talked about Trump. They told me, what the hell do you have to lose? And a lot of people said, what the fuck? But I thought we was black folk. We could take that. I just don't like the way he talked. A lot of black folk, I, said, I don't like the way he talked. That's the only really thing they say. That I don't like the way he talked. The way he talked, look what the fuck do you do. It's about what you do. And there's a lot of manufactured crisis, especially with that thing for Kenosa. Because business owners were sitting out there begging for people to come help. They knew that the police was told to stand down. And this is important. Who has that power to tell police, chiefs, and sheriffs that you have to stand down and you have to listen. You can't let your police go out there and protect and serve. Ain't that a job? And a lot of people are you saying the brainwashing is right. They just forget about that shit. They was tearing up the fucking country all over the place. Nancy Pelosi told the country, they said that they're just tearing up. She said, old oh, people will do what they do. It was all in the effort to make Trump look like hell. Every day of his fucking presidency, they give him one good week, one good day, but every day, he was right out there. So say what you want to say about Trump, but shit, I see Biden remorse right now. What well, I'm saying to you, Kwame, is God damn. You was right. Cause you know he was babbling. You know what I'm saying? To me. Uh, oh, they they mad about the double standard. No, they changed the narrative about what niggas supposed to be mad about. And that's what the fucking real issue is. Motherfuckers mad about the what the fuck. They changed the issue about what you supposed to be mad about. And really, when you were saying that about, well, shouldn't he, look, in my opinion, it's just my opinion, just like you say, homie. That man was a hero because, goddamn, he the only one that answered the call. There's a lot of us. I ain't answered the motherfucking call. You didn't answer the call. Carcino didn't answer the call. A lot of us. Damn, I hate that fucking pimple. Are you kidding me? I'm 40 something. But, um, I ain't answered the motherfucking call for help from them business owners in Kenosha. They, they call for help. They call for help. Only a few people. They knew they was gonna tear up. Hell, they had shit all over the fucking country to where these motherfuckers were gonna riot until Trump was gone. Riot, pillage, whatever the fuck they had to do. Just get them gone. 
They got their wish. And now what we got? Buy the motherfucking remorse. So, yo, homie, um, all I'm going to say is just fuck with Angela Stanton. She good people, you know what I'm saying? In term, I don't know her like that, but all I'm saying in terms of what the fuck she is saying to y'all is some real shit. And what she's saying to black women is some real shit. And she anomaly. You can't, uh, you can't, they can't put her in a box. That's why they just won't give her the platform she deserves. But, hey. The people see. Keep doing what you're doing, Brother Kwame. Peace. Out.